Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat, channel donations to Venmo and the Patreon family. We are working man down, man down. Shout out to DeSoto, Texas. Y'all got one. His name is Errol the Truth Spence Jr., right? Now, there is a fight that's taking place this Saturday, and it was supposed to be supposed to be an IBF eliminator with welterweight top ranked guy Constantine Panamara record of 32 and 0 13 knockouts against Mexico's Carlos Ocampo who's also undefeated 20 and 0 and on Tuesday Xanifer Promotions announced that the fight that was scheduled to take place for this IBF slot winner would be the number one mandatory for Errol Spence Jr versus Lamont Peterson winner and I think Spence should be the, f the favorite. I mean, he has more fights at welterweight and he's the champ, right? Constantine Ponomarev has pulled out. Now, the link is in the description. Shout out to ESPN. And the ESPN article says, and I quote, Constantine Ponomarev is not injured, but the reason for his withdrawal was not announced and those involved declined to give a reason when asked by ESPN. But top rank, Carl Moretti, said i can confirm that he will not be participating in the elimination bout this saturday so be it famous three words life goes on so their card still goes on ponomar was supposed to fight ocampo for the number one spot to become errol spence jr's number one mandatory right so now ocampo stuck without a dance partner shout out to carlos ocampo shout out to mexico um I feel bad for him because he trained. His opponent is not injured. This so at least Kubrat Pulev when he pulled out versus Anthony Joshua, he's claiming injury. All right. Anytime someone says injury, there's always going to be skeptics and stuff like that. But at least that's the reason he cited. He pulled something, shoulder, chest, whatever. But Konstantin Ponomarev, who I believe is still being trained by Abel Sanchez, Gennady Golovkin, hand all guys, his promoter or his trainer, pulled out for no reason and then ESPN asked why and they declined to give a reason so to me all things considered it's a duck I'm labeling it a duck Constantine Ponomarev over 30 fights and here's why let me explain to you new media style let me explain why another one bites the dust and why Errol Spence Jr. has <laughs> the welterweight division shook because nobody's really speaking and coming at Errol Spence Jr. See, if you're from the hood or if you're from any tough parts of the city or anything, you'll know and you'll know when people are posturing and posing and stuff. And it doesn't look like people really want wreck with Errol Spence Jr. That's just what it is. Now, in the case, like I told you, I'm unboxing I'm Maury Povich, right? In the case of Konstantin Ponomarev, there's no reason being cited. He has over 30 fights. He has been a high-ranking IBF and see, this is the problem. Some people were saying, and new media, I did a live stream about this. I told you guys, Kenny Porter brought up a very valid point when he was talking about this. But people are saying Sean Porter is ducking Errol Spence Jr. And if that's how you feel, fine. But what Kenny Porter said at the podium after Porter, uh, Porter Granados made a lot of sense. He said they're not even ranked in the top 20 and we're already en route to get a Danny Garcia or a Keith Thurman rematch. We're the highest ranking, number one ranking, so we should be able to get one of those fights. That makes sense to me. As a business, Danny Garcia and Keith Thurman, one has two belts, so that really makes sense to be chasing him. Plus, you already shared the ring with him for 12 rounds, right? And he has probably, they both probably have a bigger name than Errol Spence at the moment. Not talking about the quality of fight because I think Errol Spence is the man to beat at welterweight. I'm just talking about the business side. And if, if the IBF has taken someone like Sean Porter, right, and you guys are calling him a ducker, Sean Porter's not even ranked in the top 20, right? That's weird. How is Ocampo and Konstantin Ponomarev ranked in the top eliminator spot? So 
basically two and three or whatever because i think i think a couple spots are vacant so they're the highest ranking people right but sean porter's not in the top 20 and he used to have the ibf belt so to me there's some propaganda there's some different things going on so before people call sean porter a duck when he's not even ranked by that sanctioning body and he's clearly on track with the wbc getting good uh generous uh rankings and placements and taking part in the eliminators two back-to-back versus Berto, Berto and Granados to get his spot at a rematch with Thurman or Danny Garcia fight what Kenny Porter says that story checks out however this is a duck because this is not the first time Konstantin Potomarov was slated to fight Errol Spence or had an opportunity to possibly face Errol Spence Jr. And he pulled out last time, I think, because of injury. And as a result, the IBF went down the list and picked Leonard Bundu. So as far as I'm concerned, not to sound harsh, but the IBF needs to remove Konstantin Ponomarev. A week before the fight, you're not injured. You won't tell a big outlet like ESPN why you, you've pulled out of the fight. This is the second time where you've pretty much proven you don't want to fight Errol Spence Jr. Now, I understand Errol Spence has his own fight in January with Lamont Peterson, right? He's going to fight Lamont Peterson, so if Peterson beats him, then he would be the mandatory. But most people are favoring Spence to beat Lamont Peterson, right? And I can't think of any other acceptable reason. You know what I mean? Sean Porter, he pulled out of the... He was supposed to be on the Mayweather-McGregor card, and he pulled out. They, they did interviews and disclosed it. Right? They said we had a death in the family um, that threw things off, etc. So we pulled out. And then they came back and fought a, a dangerous guy like a Granado, someone who's hard to look good, good against and sustain injury just to get another fight in this year and stay active. Meanwhile, Constantine Panamara really hasn't fought anyone in 30 plus fights. And now he's pulling out of, again, another Errol Spence Jr. fight. So to me, file this in the he don't want no smoke because again Spence still has to get past Lamont Peterson which I expect him to do and I think Constantine Panamaro Abel Sanchez they're smart enough to know that Spence has a has a good shot to retain his title versus Peterson or anybody else and that's the only thing I could think of because like I said fool me once shame on on what's the saying fool me once shame on me or shame on you fool me twice shame on me that's the same thing like you can't keep pulling out when you're supposed to fight eliminators with Arrow Spence and then Bundu's 40-year-old ass got to fight Spence and get knocked out brutally and then Spence becomes a champion and you know the threat is there and if you beat this Carlos Ocampo then you're going to be the number one mandatory and they're going to really be pushing you to, to do that. That's not, and, and see this is why I like Arrow Spence a lot because Arrow Spence, when he was in the same position, he was down to fight Konstantin Potomarov, he was down to fight Leonard Bundu, he was down to fight Kell Brook. He wanted the champion. He wanted. He didn't. He he made. He wanted the champion more than the champion wanted to fight him, and it was very evident because Kell Brook was like, oh, ba basically, he was like saying basically, it's hard to get up. Nobody in the states is really knowing Errol Spence Jr. It's hard to get up for a guy like that. And was he done? And woom woom. And I, I'm looking for Amir Khan or Pacquiao. Like you don't. You didn't want to fight. But the pressure, just like new media pressure, has been on on the Wilder Joshua, Canelo Triple G, the pressure is getting too much. The Golovkin or Rigondeaux versus Lomachenko fight, the pressure burst pipes and that's what's happening here. You know what I mean? So Kell Brook was basically forced. He was he had to fight Errol Spence. There was too much eyes on the fight for him to not fight against Errol Spence. But again, the difference being Spence wanted that work. Spence wanted the champion. He wanted to fight the Constantine Panamaros. He wanted to fight Leonard Bundu or whoever he had to go to get his golden opportunity. But you can't say that is the same for Abel Sanchez's fighter, Constantine Panamarov, because this is the second time he's pulled out when he had an opportunity to fight a name like Errol Spence Jr., where if you beat the guy, especially if you beat him now, you'll be a champion. If you would have beat him then before he became a champion, you would have beat a guy who was being praised by Freddie Roach and Adrian Broner and Floyd Mayweather and you would have dethroned and derailed his plans. You know what I mean? And then you could have fought Kell Brook. So clearly, Team Panamarv, they feel they're not ready. This is a clear duck. I don't care what anybody says. Um, again, if there was just like a family emergency or your wife's pregnant or, or something like that, then why wouldn't you tell ESPN that? You know what I'm saying? So to me, it sounds like they don't want 
They don't want what comes after Ocampo if they get past Ocampo. Shout out to Carlos Ocampo. Let me know your thoughts. Errol Spence is the boogeyman. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.